Easy Healing Direction, food blogger building Xiaoka has become the villainous sister of four big shots, wearing books. Her task is to gain the recognition of her sisters, don't panic, watch her conquer them with delicious food. Sister. Don't think I'll forgive you if you make me a hot pot. Second sister. Make tomatoes on sticks for me. Do you consider me a three-year-old child? Third sister. Make me a thousand cakes in a day, I'm considering it. Fourth sister. Lemon chicken feet, lemon honey water, lemon cake. I forgive you, little sister. Big sister, second sister, third sister. Fourth sister, you traitor. We will never give in. Later, the three big shots and sisters, elder sister. I'll make hot pot for you tonight, sister. Second sister. Baby, I'll give you tomatoes on sticks. Third sister. Has your sister decided whether to eat the cake I made? Fourth sister. Isn't it good to forgive early? Eating lemons, as a result, my younger sister was not spoiled enough before she was taken away by a big-tailed wolf. Big shots and sisters. Give back our younger sister. Keywords of the novel. After live streaming to cry for money in the wealthy circle, fake heiresses are left with no pop-ups. After live streaming to cry for money in the wealthy circle, fake heiresses are left with no pop-ups. Download the full text. After live streaming to cry for money in the wealthy circle, fake heiresses are left with the latest chapters to read. Chapter 1. Are you happy after destroying the Lu family? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1. Are you happy after destroying the Lu family? As soon as Lu Xiaoka became aware, he received a solid slap. Before he could react, a tearful rebuke exploded in his ear. Lu Xiaoka. Is our Lu family short for you to wear or for you to eat? Are you going to mess with our family like this? You weren't like this before. How have you become so vicious now? You knew your fourth sister had claustrophobia and even locked her in the storage room. What are your intentions? She covered her beaten face and looked up in confusion. What's going on? Who is the woman in front of me, and where is she? In sight, a girl in casual clothes walked out of a dimly lit room holding another girl in pink rabbit ear pajamas. The woman who had just slapped her stepped forward and saw Lu Yuyu in Lu Xiaowen's arms with sweat all over her face. Even if she was unconscious, her breathing was still very rapid. The woman could no longer control her emotions, burst the embankment, rushed to Lu Xiaoka, grabbed her shoulder, and vigorously shook her. Your fourth sister usually loves you the most. Why did you lock your fourth sister in the miscellaneous room? Do you know this will kill her? Even if you are not our biological daughter, our family has been in love with you for so many years. Even if Xiaowen comes back, she will still treat you as before. But how did you repay us? We have been disappointed time and time again, causing trouble for your sisters. Are you satisfied now? Your older sister almost committed suicide because of you, your second sister has lost her reputation because of you, your third sister has disabled legs because of you, and your fourth sister almost killed her again because of your reputation for leaking confidential information on your back. Lu Xiaoka, are you going to ruin the entire Lu family to make you happy? The woman pushed Lu Xiaoka hard, but Lu Xiaoka's center of gravity was unstable and he fell to the ground. Hiss it hurts so much. After carrying Lu Yuyu back to her room, Lu Xiaowen walked over to give Lu's mother a calm and indifferent look at Lu Xiaoka on the ground, saying. Get back to your villa, I don't want to see you now. When Lu Mu was supported by Lu Xiaowen and walked over, Lu Xiaoka suddenly grabbed Lu Xiaowen's hem. I'm sorry. Although she is not very clear about why she suddenly came here, it seems that everything that just happened is related to her current body. Lu Xiaowen pulled back his clothes and said in a cold voice, Is it useful to say I'm sorry now? You've done everything you shouldn't have done. Lu Mu's emotions slightly calmed down and she turned around disappointed, saying, Everyone in the family has been heartbroken by you. 
no one is willing to accept your apology. Go back, I don't want to see you. After Lu Mu left, the butler walked over with a disappointed expression on Lu Xiaoka's face. Miss Lu, now madam doesn't want to see you. Please go back. Lu Xiaoka pursed his lips and stood up on the ground. At this moment, Lu Xiaoka suddenly had more memories in his mind that did not belong to her. She suddenly crouched on the ground in pain, moaning in pain. The butler saw her like this and did not show any concern for her. Instead, he let out a disgusted sigh. Miss Lu, your move is useless. Do you think anyone in this family will still feel sorry for you now? Don't pretend, get up quickly. But Lu Xiaoka seemed to have not heard what the butler said. At this moment, she seemed to be able to feel the consciousness that belonged to the original owner, seeing the strong desire of her sisters to come out because she had been hurt. But she could only watch helplessly as they were hurt, trapped inside her body and powerless. Help them. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 The Su Family Comes to Divorce you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 The Su family comes to divorce Lu Xiaoka suddenly opened his eyes, his hands still lifted in mid-air, his breathing rapid, and his clothes soaked in sweat. She observed the surroundings. She is in the car. I remember it was like the butler called in other servants and carried her into the car together. She didn't want to know where she was going, so she leaned weakly against the back seat, recalling the memories she had just received. Her current body, also known as Lu Xiaoka, is a female supporting character from a book. The Lu family held the wrong child. Before the plot collapsed, she accepted this fact and the Lu family did not mistreat her, still treating her as before. But after the plot collapses, the consciousness belonging to the original owner is trapped inside her, watching others control her body and harm the family she cares about the most. Her obsession was too strong, attracting the attention of the system. Coincidentally, she overturned while cooking and was blown into a vegetative state by an exploding pressure cooker. She was selected by the system as the taskmaster. She needs to complete her obsession for the original owner in order to return to the real world and wake up on the hospital bed. And the original owner's obsession was to save her family's heart and live happily with them. After thinking about what the original owner did when he was occupied by someone, Lu Xiaoka felt the pressure of completing this task was immense, Miss Six, here we are. As Lu Xiaoka's thoughts turned, the driver in front had already parked the car and coldly greeted her to get off. She silently opened the car door and got out of the car. After saying thank you, she walked into her villa. Because of that thank you, the driver glanced at Lu Xiaoka again and couldn't help but mutter to me while reversing, Miss Lu actually said thank you to me. It's his mother amazing. As soon as I entered the door, Lu Xiaoka headed straight to the bathroom. When she saw herself in the mirror with heavy makeup and a red buttock skirt, she silently fell into contemplation. After taking a shower, Lu Xiaoka fell asleep. When I woke up again, it was already evening, and there was a continuous drizzle outside. The chill wrapped in the evening breeze and blew the curtains, gently caressing the skin of Lu Xiaoka. She couldn't help but shiver, and just as she was about to get out of bed and close the window, a white kitten walked in from outside. But she was not surprised. Because this is the system that accompanied her to this world. Little cutie, I'm hungry. The little kitten jumped onto the bed, sat down next to her, and reached out its paw to scratch the back of her hand. Lu Xiaoka raised his hand and touched the little kitten's head, jokingly saying, Aren't you a system? Why do you still need to eat? The little kitten pretended to be angry and revealed its little fangs. Lu Xiaoka was amused and quickly got out of bed to cook for the kitten. There wasn't much food in the villa, so she made a bowl of egg custard for the little kitten and a bowl of noodles herself. Just as I was about to sit down and eat, the doorbell rang. She glanced through her cat's eye at the original female protagonist Lu Xiaowen in the book, and then dispelled her guard and opened the door. When Lu Xiaowen saw the people inside come out, he didn't want to take another look at her. 
He immediately got away from her and lowered his head to play with his phone, saying coldly, Get in the car. The Su family has come to divorce. Lu Xiaowen looked up meaningfully at Lu Xiaoka and said in a faint tone, Mom wants to ask for your opinion. Lu Xiaoka pouted. She is still hungry and doesn't want to just follow Lu Xiaowen. Wait for me. Lu Xiaowen didn't say anything, just lowered his head and played with his phone. A few minutes later, Lu Xiaoka changed into a floral dress and came out of the room holding a kitten in one hand and a thermos in the other. His voice was soft and he said, let's go. At this moment, Lu Xiaowen took away his phone and looked up at her. The next second, a hint of amazement flashed through her eyes. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Don't call me Sister Wu, you don't deserve it. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 4 I am not a little cry bag. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 I am not a little crying bag The temperature inside the burning car was extremely high, and the driver in front was unconscious. Su Chinyu's hand in the back seat was stuck, and he was struggling to break free. The fire on the car hood was gradually spreading towards this side, and his fingers could already vaguely feel the pain of being burned by the fire. The smoke was getting thicker and Su Chinyu's physical strength was gradually decreasing. The smoke sucked into his lungs caused his vision to become increasingly blurred. Are you going to die here suddenly, he saw a girl charging towards him through the rapidly rising mist. After losing his last breath of consciousness, he heard an anxious female voice outside. People inside, don't sleep. In order to prevent the burning vehicle from exploding again, Lu Xiaoka had no time to care about the people inside the car. Now, only by extinguishing the fire as soon as possible can the people inside the car be rescued. But the fire was too intense, and relying solely on Lu Xiaoka's strength was not enough. Just as Lu Xiaoka was preparing to rescue the people inside, many car owners who were moved by Lu Xiaoka's bravery rushed from all directions carrying fire extinguishers. With everyone's help, the fire was finally extinguished. Lu Xiao was visible, and with her petite figure, she slowly climbed into the car. The temperature inside the car was very high, which immediately caused a layer of fine sweat to appear on Lu Xiaoka's forehead. In the car, she saw an unconscious young man with blood on his forehead. Everyone worked together and finally rescued Su Chinyu and the driver in the driver's seat before the ambulance arrived. Just as everyone was about to breathe a sigh of relief, the accident happened again. Well, there was an accident on the way back, and now Lu Xiaoka is dressing his wound in the hospital. Outside the orthopedic consultation room, Lu Xiaowen is on the phone with his mother. The nearby consultation room was constantly filled with cries of pain. Pain, pain. Nurse, please be gentle. Lu Xiaowen glanced inside and said, Mom, let's not talk for now. We'll go home right away. Just as Lu Xiaowen was about to hang up, his mother stopped her and said, Don't worry, Aunt Su's son had a car accident and they have already left. The mother on the other end of the phone sighed and said, Since she's injured, let her recover well and don't come back and obstruct my eyes again. Mom, go and see your fourth sister. Okay, goodbye mom. Hanging up the phone, Lu Xiaowen walked in and saw her inside. Lu Xiaoka cried and waved at her, saying, Sister, good sister, please ask the nurse to be gentle. It's hurting her so much. Lu Xiaowen felt heartbroken for a moment when he saw her crying tearfully, but he didn't say much. He just threw a tissue to Lu Xiaoka. It's so noisy. Upon hearing these words, Lu Xiaoka cried even harder. How did she know that the wheels of that car would suddenly pop out and hit her? She is definitely the most miserable storyteller in history. After a few more minutes of crying for his father and calling for his mother, Lu Xiaoka finally successfully completed the bandage. The nurse sister helped her sit in a wheelchair and pushed her out, while Lu Xiaowen waited outside. When she saw her come out, she walked over to pick up the wheelchair. 
The nurse sister took out a candy from her pocket and handed it to Lu Xiaoka, saying, Here, little crying bag. She had never seen a twenty-year-old girl before, crying like a baby getting vaccinated with simple bandaging, and her tear glands were too rich. Lu Xiaoka tightly gripped his slightly dirty floral skirt, took the candy handed over by the nurse sister with a red face, and retorted in a muffled voice, I'm not a little crying bag. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Is your favorite brother Ayu? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 It's your favorite brother Ayu when Su Qinyu's mother Fang Chuyin arrived at the ward, coincidentally, Lu Xiaoka and Lu Xiaowen were also at the door. Lu Xiaowen knew her and politely greeted her, Hello and Su. Fang Chuyin simply responded and rushed into the ward in a hurry. Lu Xiaowen hesitated for a moment and asked Lu Xiaoka. Are you sure you still want to go in? Auntie Su, who just came to withdraw from the marriage. Could you please push me in, Sister Wu? Everyone has been saved. No one would come to their door to divorce, so they wouldn't go in and meet. She is brave enough to do justice, and it's not like killing someone. What's there to be afraid of? Don't call me, fifth sister, dot. Dot. After Lu Xiaowen pushed Lu Xiaoka inside, Su Qinyu on the hospital bed had already awakened. Seeing a stranger enter, he instinctively turned his gaze to Lu Xiaoka sitting in a wheelchair. She is a lovely girl with red eyes and looks like she has just cried. The driver on the hospital bed beside him saw Lu Xiaoka and excitedly said, Madam, it was the little girl sitting in a wheelchair who saved me and the young master. Fang Chuyin wiped away the tears from the corners of her eyes with a handkerchief and turned her head to look. The blushing face that cried because of the bandage added a touch of softness to the faint smile at the corner of Lu Xiaoka's mouth, making people unable to help but feel pity. Fang Chuyin looked a bit dazed. Just now she rushed into the ward and only saw Lu Xiaowen, but she didn't notice that she was pushing Lu Xiaoka. Today, Xiaoka on this building doesn't have that annoying foolishness on his body. Since it was Lu Xiaoka who saved her son, she didn't want to lose her courtesy. She stood up and walked over, drawing a kind smile and tentatively asking. Thank you for saving my son today. Xiaoka, have you returned to normal? In fact, Fang Chuyin really likes Lu Xiaoka. Bing Xue is clever and the two of them have been engaged in a doll wedding since childhood. Even though Lu Xiao is not the biological daughter of the Lu family, the Su family has not divorced and adheres to the principle of consistency. Otherwise, Lu Xiaoka, how could that little girl look up and meet people in the wealthy circle? I will be ridiculed for a lifetime because of this matter. If it weren't for Lu Xiaoka's sudden change in temperament and doing many disgusting things a year ago, after careful consideration, Fang Chuyin would still have decided to come and withdraw from the marriage. No one would want their son to marry a stubborn woman as their wife. Su Qinyu's return now is also due to the fact that he needs to nod and agree to his divorce, which is something that both children should know. But who knew there was a car accident on the way? But fortunately, she was saved by Lu Xiaoka in time, otherwise she would have lost her only son. Lu Xiaoka smiled lightly and said, Sister Xiaoyin, do you think I have returned to normal? The nickname Xiaoyin sister is a secret that the original owner shared with Fang Chuyin when she was a child. When the original owner was scolded, as long as she ran to the Su family and shouted Xiaoyin sister, Fang Chuyin would come out to protect her. Upon hearing the familiar address, Fang Chuyin finally believed that Lu Xiaoka in front of her had returned to normal, but she still kept a hint of vigilance in her heart, afraid that she might suddenly become abnormal again. Fang Chuyin turned around and introduced Lu Xiaoka to Su Qinyu, saying, You are, this is your fiancé A. E. Xiaoka. Xiaoka, this is your favorite Ah Yu brother when you were a child. Under the sunshine, Su Qinyu's eyebrows and eyes were very gentle, and his gaze towards Lu Xiaoka was gentle. Xiaoka, long time no see. Okay, long time no see. Lu Xiaoka was a bit stunned when he saw the beautiful man, and even stuttered when speaking. 
Fong Chuin covered her mouth and sneered, I can't help but stutter when I see Brother Ayu so excited. Lu Xiaoka exploded and said, I don't have it. Upon hearing her rebuttal, Fang Chui knew that she was the cute and quick-witted King Lu Xiaoka of the past. End of this chapter Chapter 6 The palms and backs of the hands are all flesh. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 The palms and backs of the hands are all flesh, you are has nothing to do, so let's pack up and leave the hospital, Fang Chuin focused her attention on Lu Xiaoka. Out of courtesy, she asked, Xiaoka, are you going to eat at Sister Xiaoyin's house? Go. When it comes to food, Lu Xiaoka's eyes sparkle. Where's Xiaowen? Lu Xiaowen glanced at Lu Xiaoka, who was already drooling, and didn't know what to say. Today's Lu Xiaoka is indeed quite normal. Like before, she loves to cry, she loves to fry her hair, and she also loves to eat. Let's take a look together to prevent her from doing some heinous things again. I'll go too. In the end, there were not only Lu Xiaoka and Lu Xiaowen on the Su family's dining table, but also their mother Lin Danya, although she still had some confusion. Xiaoyin, didn't she say she broke out? There's no need to eat when getting out of marriage, after all, it's not very prestigious for both families. Fang Chuin leaned over and whispered, it was Xiaoka who saved Yuer today. When she was in the ward today, I saw that she was quite normal and should have recovered. Lin Danya doesn't believe much. After all, during this year, it has been quite common for Lu Xiaoka to say that he has returned to normal, which has always been extremely disappointing. Lu Xiaowen, sitting next to Lin Danya, saw her concerns. Even though her attitude towards Lu Xiaoka remained somewhat indifferent, it is true that today's restored normal Lu Xiaoka is completely different from the previous restored normal Lu Xiaoka. Mom, believe her again. Lin Danya sighed and said, then trust her again. Who makes the palms and backs of the hands all flesh? Xiaoka is still her own daughter who has been raised for twenty years. Even if she is not biological, she can't be ruthless. Just halfway through the meal, the butler of the Lu family hurriedly came over and said, Madam, there's a group of people outside who don't seem easy to deal with. They say they're friends with Miss Six. Lu Xiaoka, who has been burying his head in cooking, almost bit his tongue. She just remembered now. After the plot collapsed, the original owner not only did something to hurt his four sisters, but also made a group of friends outside, often bullying nearby high school students. Smoking, drinking, and fighting, the original owner is proficient in everything, but he doesn't do anything related to good children. As soon as the butler finished speaking, the door of the Su family's living room was kicked open, and a huge shoe print landed on the snow. White door. Upon hearing the commotion, Fang Chuin immediately put down her chopsticks and prepared to stand up, but was grabbed by Lu Xiaoka's hem. Sister Xiaoyin, they are here to find me. You push me over and I will negotiate with them. Fang Chuin saw her soft and weak appearance, still sitting in a wheelchair, and couldn't take it easy. You're an injured person now, aren't you looking for a fight when you go out? You are, you push Xiaoka out with me. Su Chinyu, who was named, withdrew his gaze from Lu Xiaoka and got up to walk behind her. Thank you, Lu Xiaoka said politely. No need to thank you little crying bag. Lu Xiaoka smiled and reached out his hand, mercilessly pinching Su Chinyu's thigh. Call out, little cry bag, again, it's not over with you. Su Chinyu pushed her, and upon hearing this powerless threat, he became interested and said, oh. Then I want to see how you can keep up with me, little crying bag. Lu Xiaoka, dot. Are you coming? You knew you bullied her and injured her leg. In the living room, two girls and three teenagers sat on the sofa, swaying their feet on the coffee table. Seeing Lu Xiaoka wearing a skirt pushed out by Su Chinyu, I couldn't believe my eyes. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Kicking Someone Unconscious with Just One Kick You are listening at NovelFull.audio
Chapter 7 Kicking Someone Unconscious With Just One Kick They had never seen Lu Xiaoka's bare face, only her appearance wearing heavy makeup every day, so when they saw her so beautiful, their eyes never left. Their first reaction was, sleeping in bed, where did the beautiful sister come from? One of the teenagers even forgot that he was at the Sioux family at the moment, took out his phone and rushed up. Beautiful sister, add a WeChat account. Lu Xiaoka pushed away the phone handed over by the person and, relying on the memory in the original owner's mind, accurately recognized the person in front of him. Su Jiajia, I am Lu Xiaoka. The beautiful sister's name sounds so nice, Su Jiajia hadn't realized yet, so let's add a friend. At this moment, one of the girls recognized Lu Xiaoka sitting in a wheelchair, patted Su Jiajia's forehead, and curiously asked. Xiaoka, why are you still limping? This is bullying high school students and being taught a lesson by them instead. Lu Xiaoka waved his hand and was about to explain when Su Qinyu behind him spoke, she was trying to save me, and everyone, this is my home. The girl in front of him was not intimidated by Su Qinyu's words, but instead raised an eyebrow at him and said, I know. We're just here to go drink with Xiaoka. She looked at Lu Xiaoka again and said, but now that Xiaoka looks so embarrassed, I'm afraid he can't go. Unfortunately, there are several new male models. The girl thought Lu Xiaoka would make a fuss and go together, but she didn't expect the other way around to say, I'm not interested in handsome guys. Su Jia Jia was amused by her words and said, What are you talking nonsense about? When we were drinking together before, your eyes wanted to stick to those male models. When his fiancée A heard the shameful past of the original owner, Lu Xiaoka couldn't help but quickly find a crack in the ground to crawl in. Get out! Lu Xiaoka puffed up his cheeks and drove people away, like a furry little hamster. Su Jia Jia saw that Lu Xiaoka was angry and had no intention of continuing to stay here. Okay, okay. Since you have been scolded, we won't disturb your recovery. Let's go. Lu Xiaoka clenched his small fist. I can't bear it. How could this group of people see themselves as being taught a lesson when they see their limp clearly caused to save talent? Moreover, Su Qinyu has already explained. Lu Xiaoka. Sister Xiaoyin, they bully me. Su Jiajia and her group's footsteps paused slightly. Xiaoka, why don't you reason? We didn't bully you. Before Fang Chuin ordered the servants to drive them away, Su Qinyu took the initiative. He picked up Su Jiajia's collar and kicked him in the butt in front of the other four people, flying him out and saying gently. Sorry, this is my house. Please get out of here. Su Jiajia landed on the ground, wiping the pebbles and flying out for a few meters before finally stopping, but she also fainted. The other four people looked at each other, bowing and apologizing very consciously and politely, and quickly disappeared from the crowd while carrying Su Jiajia. Lu Xiaoka. Dot. Kicking someone unconscious with just one kick. Su Qinyu looked back at Lu Xiaoka and smiled, saying, it's solved. Let's continue to go back and eat. After speaking, Su Qinyu slowly walked towards Lu Xiaoka, intending to push her back. Lu Xiaoka instinctively shrank and grabbed the hand of Lu Xiaowen, who was watching the excitement on the side. Lu Xiaowen lifted his hand and shook it away, but Lu Xiaoka accurately grabbed it. Lu Xiaowen couldn't bear it anymore and said, What are you doing? End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Only Food and Eyes You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 only food and eyes Lu Xiaoka glanced at Su Qinyu and remembered the moment he had just pinched him. He quickly withdrew his gaze and whispered, I'm afraid he'll hit me. My good sister, you have to protect me. Su Qinyu. Dot. Just now, I was a bit rough and scared the little girl. Su Qinyu walked behind Lu Xiaoka, and Lu Xiaowen shook off Lu Xiaoka's hand again and went back on his own. Lu Xiaowen saw Lu Xiaowen walking away, and Su Qinyu pushed himself, instantly losing the momentum he had just shown off. 
He sat up straight and hesitantly. Suddenly, Su Chinyu spoke up and said, I'll pay attention next time. Lu Xiaoka muttered, just don't hit me. It hurts just looking at it. Su Chinyu didn't answer any further, just a slightly deeper smile on the corner of his lips. Although there were some minor interruptions to this dinner, it was finally finished smoothly. Lin Danya is still a bit confused, after all, today's Lu Xiao is too normal, so normal that. All she has in her eyes is food. Sister Xiaoyin, how can you make braised pork belly so fat and not greasy? Then he stuffed another mouthful of braised pork belly. Sister Xiaoyin, do you have any seeds for this little vegetable? Sister Xiaoyin. Lu Xiaoka's mouth was full of food, and she kept asking Fang Chuin incessantly. She was the one who could speak the loudest of all the people present. Lu Xiaoka ate too much, and finally there was no sound. He sat quietly in his wheelchair without any further sound. Lin Danya suddenly felt that the world was clean and quickly said, Since we have finished our meal, let's go back. Lin Danya looked at Lu Xiaowen and whispered, Go push Xiaoka. Lu Xiaowen nodded and as soon as he stood up, Lu Xiaoka rubbed his belly and wrapped his arm around Lin Danya, waving his hand at her. Goodbye, today I'm going to have a deep discussion with Sister Xiaoyin about her cooking secrets. Lin Danya. Dot. I think you want to have a few more meals. Fang Chuin also rarely encountered a soulmate who understood her culinary skills. Following Lu Xiaoka's suggestion, she agreed. You guys go back first. Lin Danya still felt a bit uneasy. But it's so late now. Just stay at my house, said Su Chinyu. If Auntie is not at ease, I will send Xiaoka back after they finish. Lin Danya didn't persist anymore. After leaving the Su family, Lin Danya stood at the entrance with an incredulous expression on her face and said, Xiao Wen, pinch me. Lu Xiaowen followed suit and even pinched himself. Hmm. It hurts a bit. Lin Danya and Lu Xiaowen looked at each other and said, Is Xiaoka really normal? Her behavior today seems normal and there is no trace of her disguise. But. Lu Xiaowen is also uncertain about it. Observe for a few more days. Perhaps it was this little girl who pretended again, after all, she has pretended so many times, and she is not a fool. She will definitely absorb experience from it. And she always feels that Lu Xiao has become arrogant and domineering because of some special reason. How could a person who has always had such a personality for twenty years become like this in just one year? With this in mind, Lu Xiaowen decided to go find Lu Xiaoka tonight. Lu Xiaoka and Fang Chuin chatted until after nine o'clock. With a regular schedule, Lu Xiaoka didn't want to leave, but couldn't help but fight up and down. Fang Chuin saw that she was exhausted, but she continued to persevere. She couldn't help but say, Xiaoka, why don't you go back today and come back tomorrow? Lu Xiaoka finally became more energetic and said, Okay. I'll come back tomorrow, Sister Xiaoyin. You are, let's take Xiaoka home. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 9 No one should despise anyone. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Don't despise anyone after Lu Xiaoka arrived home, although afraid, out of courtesy, she smiled and waved goodbye to Su Chinyu. Su Chinyu felt a little helpless and said, Little crying bag, don't be afraid of me. I'm easy to get along with. Lu Xiaoka stared at him, turned his wheelchair and took a few steps back, with a face full of disbelief. Su Chinyu. Dot. How can you believe that I'm easy to get along with? Su Chinyu leaned sideways. Lu Xiaoka doesn't know what to say. I just think he must be very skilled in fighting, and when he gets angry, he can punch her ten meters away. But on second thought. Su Chinyu has been attending a private high school in another city and has only returned a few times throughout the year. During the period when the original owner's body was taken away, he was not there, so he definitely did not understand what had happened to the original owner. 
think from a different perspective. Neither of them should despise each other. If you want to go to Sister Xiaoyin's house, you must maintain a normal relationship with Su Qinyu, right? Thinking of this, Lu Xiaoka decided to reconcile with his fear of Su Qinyu. I believe you now. Dot. Su Qinyu was a bit confused, he naturally didn't know that Lu Xiaoka had been thinking so much in his heart. Su Qinyu pushed Lu Xiaoka to open the door, and a person walked past the pavilion in the darkness. Upon closer inspection, it was Lu Xiaowen. I'll come. She has been waiting here for a long time. Su Qinyu saw that the other person was Lu Xiaoka's sister and let go of his guard. Then push her in, he said after Lu Xiaowen and Su Qinyu briefly explained their purpose for coming this time, Su Qinyu left with peace of mind. After Su Qinyu left, there were only two people in the room, Lu Xiaoka and Lu Xiaowen. Lu Xiaoka didn't feel embarrassed either. He asked Lu Xiaowen to sit down and just as he was about to ask her about the situation, a heavy object suddenly appeared on Lu Xiaoka's head. It's the little kitten that the system has transformed into. It was all dirty and complained, do you know how scared I was to leave me there? Faced with the questioning from the system, Lu Xiaoka replied with some nervousness, aren't you the system? Why can't you come back to my side? The little kitten reached out its paw and slapped Lu Xiaoka, that's the point. The point is that you left me behind. Where did the little wild cat come from? Lu Xiaoka was about to comfort the system when the little guy above his head was picked up by Lu Xiaowen, ready to open the door and release it. Lu Xiaoka quickly stopped her and said, Sister Wu, this is my cat. Lu Xiaowen's footsteps paused slightly, and the system he was holding in his arms was still struggling desperately. Are you sure it's yours? If it's a kitten, you need to take it to a pet hospital for examination if you want to adopt it. I raised it. Lu Xiaowen let out a sound and released the system. The system retaliated by jumping up and kicking her face with its hind legs, landing firmly in Lu Xiaoka's arms. Lu Xiaowen, who was inexplicably stepped on, said, Dot. To ease the awkwardness, Lu Xiaoka gave the system a thumbs up and said, Sister Wu, is there anything wrong with coming to me so late? The system finally calmed down a bit and opened up Lu Xiaoka's intimacy with her, saying, the intimacy of your face with a paralyzed face is negative 300%. Lu Xiaoka was startled and asked in his heart, so tall. But the system didn't think there was anything unusual. Not high. Then it called up other target intimacy that she needed to regain. Sister. Negative 100,000%. Second sister. Negative 200,000%. Third sister. Negative 90,000%. Fourth sister. Negative 5,000%. Lu Xiaoka. Dot. Lu Xiaowen is really too kind to himself. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. 10 It's best for you to return to normal. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10. It's best for you to return to normal Lu Xiaowen helped Lu Xiaoka adjust the direction of the wheelchair so that she could talk to her opposite. There's no one else right now, just me and you. Let's talk about your situation. Lu Xiaowen came straight to the point, which made Lu Xiaoka a bit unresponsive. She asked the system, what does Lu Xiaowen mean? What situation should she talk about? The system snored and meowed comfortably. Perhaps it's your sudden normal situation today. The original female lead in the book has the protagonist's aura, how could she not have noticed it? System Xiaomiao added, and our system analyzes the character and behavior of the task taker when selecting them. Your fit with the original owner is as high as 90%, so your behavior today, in others' eyes, is a return to normalcy. With Xiaomiao's explanation, Lu Xiaoka understood. But please be careful not to reveal that we are the taskmasters, let alone that they are the characters in the book, otherwise it will cause the characters to awaken and you will not be able to go back. How can this be explained? Lu Xiaoka made a mistake. 
The Liu family took the original owner for another examination, and the excuse of dual personality cannot be used. Worry about people. Lu Xiaowen was still sitting on the sofa waiting for Lu Xiaoka's answer. In a quiet atmosphere, Lu Xiaoka finally spoke up and said, Sister Wu, as soon as I woke up, I saw that scene during the day. As for the rest, I completely forget it the first sentence she said was the truth. Lu Xiaowen stared at her quietly, as if trying to find some flaws in her body. But as a food blogger who often faces the camera, Lu Xiaoka can still hold on to this level of gaze. So, Lu Xiaowen didn't see any flaws on her face. But she still kept a hint of caution in her heart. You'd better return to normal. Lu Xiaowen was about to get up when he passed by Lu Xiaoka's side when his footsteps suddenly stopped. He lowered his eyes and calmly looked at Lu Xiaoka. Lu Xiaoka's gaze made him feel a bit uneasy, but he didn't show it. He just asked calmly. Is there anything else? After about five seconds of silence, Lu Xiaowen finally spoke up, your legs and feet are inconvenient. I will stay with you to take care of you until you recover. Lu Xiaoka. Dot. Are you sure it's not monitoring me? Of course, Lu Xiao wouldn't say that out loud. I am extremely happy. She hopes to quickly establish a good relationship with the original female lead, which will also be helpful for her next tasks. After a brief wash, Lu Xiaowen pushed Lu Xiaoka to the room and without saying a word, picked her up and placed her on the bed, then returned to the room to rest. Lu Xiaoka also took a bath for the dirty system cat, which was blown by Lu Xiaowen. It's already late at night, but Lu Xiaoka, who used to be asleep, has lost sleep. I don't know if it's because Lu Xiaowen is in his own home. Helplessly, Lu Xiaoka could only shake and wake up the little cat next to him. What's going on? Little Miao stretched out her paws and looked up at Lu Xiaoka in a daze. Lu Xiaoka struggled to turn over due to a foot injury and said, I can't sleep. Let's discuss how to do the task, okay? Xiao Miao covered Lu Xiaoka's eyes with a paw and said, You're asleep now. Lu Xiaoka. Don't make a fuss, I really can't sleep. Little Miao had no choice but to be forced to operate. It slowly opened the system panel, looked at it for a while, and then said, So far, CGL Lu Yu Yu is the easiest one for you to forgive. End of this chapter.